News reporter Curtis Jackson. He is live in Dearborn Heights where people have been struggling through this miserably hot night with no power. Hard to believe, Curtis. Yeah, I tell you, Carolyn, they've had no power, many of them, since about noon today. Some good news here is that we have seen the lights kick on in a few houses, but most streets remain dark at this hour as hundreds still wait for relief. It's warm. Bad time for the power to go out. For more than a thousand DTE customers in Dearborn Heights, the power couldn't have gone out at a worse time. Yeah, yeah, we moved stuff down to a bigger freezer and stuff for, and, you know, I mean, I think it'll come on sooner than they say. You own a heating and cooling company? Yeah. And you can't keep cool? <laughs> Good. Usually, Hadar Hadar is the guy you call when you can't keep cool. Now he's the one waiting for relief. And it's been a long wait at that. His house lost power at noon. By this evening, the only thermostat on his mind was his own. When it's 97 degrees outside, it's going to be hot, you know. It's, the thermostat is like 80 degrees, 85 degrees inside. DTE crews won't say what caused the outages, but we spotted one crew replacing a downed wire. As the sun sets on a long, hot day, quiet scenes out of a Norman Rockwell painting are playing out on many streets. Neighbors gather on the front porch to catch up on each other's lives and maybe even catch a welcome summer breeze to make them feel fine. Fine. We got a breeze. Yeah. No, it's fine. It's okay. Hope it comes back on soon. A few minutes ago, I spoke to a baker who has a store in Livonia. He said they lost power yesterday, and that was a big concern for him because of all the wedding cakes that he had in the freezer. Fortunately, the power got back on, and the wedding cakes are going to be delivered tomorrow as scheduled. As for what people are doing here, many of them are either going to just ride out the night without the cool air that they need to sleep, or they're going to try to find another place to stay until the lights kick back on. DTE says that estimated time for the lights to get back on here could be anywhere from midnight to about 1230. Live in Dearborn Heights, Curtis Jackson, 7 Action News.